I'm sure that for a lot of people, it's weird that I said I would have Ben Gibbard on my uh, show if I had a talk show or something on the internet. And um, Ben Gibbard was married to Zoe Deschanel. And um, I feel like um, a lot of people are wondering if I love Zoe Deschanel still. And the answer is yes, but in a different way. Um, but I like her. I do like her. Um, but honestly, I'm kind of back to I like Ben Gibbard more. But the thing is, I never once thought about the fact that that dude was married to her. Like, I mean, it's like one of those things you look up and you go, oh, cool. Like, it's you're like, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, but you don't. But I, I, I never sat there and thought about it. Um, okay, so basically what happened is I was told that Zoe Deschanel got busted a bunch of times. But um, And I was told that she was this girl I knew and that we were in love or something and that she didn't even have a real marriage, which was complete crap. And, um, and I said it on the internet. And I feel like I had a little bit of a following back then. Um, my Elton John is not going to be that good. I don't know how to make my Elton John good. I've blown it with Elton John. Like, he's just too white. I feel like I need to get, get back to the colors that I used in that one. And, um, yeah, that's for sure. I really, really messed up. Anyways, so, Elton John's in the other room. Alright. It's not that bad. What I'm trying to say is... I do care about Zoe Deschanel, and I was thinking about what Jeremy Scott said, where um, he said we shouldn't be complacent, like we, we shouldn't just not care. Um, is that is that I don't even how do I not know what complacent means right now? It is it does mean that um, it means just like taking everything for granted, right? All right, so we shouldn't be afraid to care because we're living at a time. We're, we're so afraid of death um, because right now I'm looking at Georgia and at some of these places behavior and I'm like, all right, um, you sure are letting the virus spread a lot early, which means that you could affect next flu season based on your decisions. Um, and then Trump doesn't want to speak out against this guy because he's a Republican because we're, we're all going to pat each other on the freaking ass. All right, so um, what I'm trying to say is I do care about Zoe Deschanel, um, and I'm sorry about everything that happened, and I'm sorry about, I mean, I feel like there are worse things than having a guy that's in love with you too much, um, but I don't know if I talked about her that all the time. Um, I, sure, I sure did care about her a lot um, because I thought she was someone else. Um, I thought she was someone that I knew, and... Um, I get told wrong things. I got told that that lady in the in this picture had already died, and that was when I was so busy and I was in the middle of, and I, like I was in the middle of all this crap. And I got told that she died, and that's um, I really did blow it on this Elton John painting. Anyway, so I got told that, and and so uh, I believed it for a while, and I was just so busy I forgot about it because I I also didn't believe it. And then I, I just called her, and she's alive. So I, I get told things that are not true. I mean, really, that, that that's that's a true story. In my head, I get told that she's dead. So this whole idea that Rand Paul would um, slow down the IRS by getting all these high-level people involved with crap that they shouldn't have even messed with, that is probably not actually true. Um, because I get told bullshit all the time. But I also got told that... Jill Biden didn't want Joe Biden to run for president because wait, she did. She, I didn't, they didn't say why, but that's why Joe Biden wasn't going to run for president. And that was a week before the story came out in the Huffington post about it. So I get told stuff that's true. That's so true. It's like, there's no way I could get told that without this technology existing. But then I also, um, get told bullshit like that. She's dead. And that I can't go to Houston because it's too dangerous and that's why no one's telling me about it. Alright, I gotta figure out how to fix my Elton John because I, I really did, I really did blow it.